When you're solving an exponential for x, you try to get the exponential by itself first. So we're going to undo what's being done to the exponential. So for example, on this first one, the exponential is 10 to the 3x. What's in front of it is being multiplied by 10. So to unhook multiplication, we divide both sides by that number. So I have 10 to the 3x equals 10. And then from here, if you have an exponential to get rid of it, you use a logarithm. So log base 10, that's the base coming down, of 10, that's this 10 here, equals 3x. Divide both sides by 3, and that gives us the exact answer. x equals log base 10 of 10 divided by 3. Now remember, you don't have to write the little 10 in. To get a decimal approximation, you would use your calculator and do log 10 divided by 3. And to two decimal places, this would be 0.33. For letter C, I see the exponential e to the x, and I see it's multiplied by 3, but I also see there's a 2 plus, which means the 2 is hooked by addition. So to unhook, we have to use addition or subtraction property. Subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, then do the division step. Okay, rewrite now is a logarithm, so it's going to be log base e of 2 equals x. Another name for log base e, though, is natural log. All right, and then again, you can use your calculator. Natural log of 2, and the rounded to two decimal places, about 0.69. So we have our exact, and we have our decimal approximation. Okay. For letter B, same thing. I see addition, so I'm going to have to undo addition subtraction property by doing a, a subtracting step here. 5 to the 2x equals 90. And again, this is my exponential, so I can't divide both sides by 5. I, I've got to rewrite it as a logarithm log base 5 of 90 equals 2 times x. And then divide both sides by 2. So my exact answer is that log base 5 of 90 divided by 2. For the decimal approximation, you can either use your logarithm button on your calculator if you have a TI-84, or you'll have to do change a base and change the base to log of 90, log base 10 of 90, divided by log base 10 of 5. Compute that out and then divide by 2. All right, so I'm going to use my calculator. Log base 10 of 90 divided by log base 10 of 5 first. All right, so that's log base 5 of 90, that 2.79, and then divide by 2. Don't round your answer, just hold the, de uh, the digits on your calculator. And then at the very end, you can round to two decimal places. So this is going to round up to 1.40. All right, for letter D, again, I see an addition sign, a positive one, so take away one from both sides. Rewrite log base e of 10 equals 2x. Log base e is natural log. And then get the x by itself, so divide both sides by 2. All right, so your exact answer is this natural log of 10 divided by 2. Your approximation. Do the LN button, 10, 
divide by 2. So about 1.15. So again, more of about the same type of question. Hooked by multiplication, unhooked by division. So I have 1.025 to the x equals 4 log base 1.025. And remember, logarithms always equal the power all right, so my x is the power. There's your exact, and then again, for your decimal approximation, log 4 divided by log, and then that 1.025. Okay. So I get about 56.14. Now this one went into three decimal places, so 142. Uh, letter D, the exponential is already by itself, so it's log base E of the 1.15 equals the power. So again, straight into the calculator. Natural log of 1.15. Oops, I need my decimal in there. All right, three decimal places, that's going to bump up 1.397 is going to bump me up to 0.140. Okay. All right, letter B, again, hook by multiplication, unhook by dividing. Do a rewrite, log base 0.5 of 5 equals 2 times x. Get the x by itself by dividing both sides by 2. This is your exact answer, but then again, to do your decimal approximation, do log 5 divided by the log of 0.5. All right, figure that out first, then go ahead and divide by 2. All right, so I get a negative 0.16, and again, 1, because it's going to bump up. For letter E, I see an addition sign, so addition subtraction property is what I have to do first. Subtract 5. Rewrite as a logarithm. Equals the power x minus 2. Log base E is natural log. And to get the x by itself this time, you have to add 2. Now when you add 2, you're not putting the plus 2 inside the logarithm. You can't add inside there. So the best you can do is just call it x equals natural log of 9.5 plus 2. Then go ahead and use again your calculator to get a decimal approximation. So you have natural log of 9.5 and then plus 2. Right, so about, again, three decimal places, the 4.251, approximately. Okay, for the last two, again, look for your exponential, see how it's hooked with the number in front, hooked by multiplication, unhooked by dividing. Okay. 
So I take 765 divided by 255, comes up a 3. Now, if you take a look at this one, you could almost do this one without a logarithm, because you could go, well, what power on 3 is going to give you 3? Okay, you could think, well, maybe x is 1. But if you're not thinking that, and you just keep going with this, and go, okay, well, it's log base 3 of 3 equals the power. We did have a property that crossed these out and called it 1. But even then, if you're still like, mm, I don't know, then use your calculator. Log 3 divided by log 3. And you're still going to get the number 1. Okay. And for the last one, divide both sides by 100. This is going to turn out to be a half, or 0.5. Go log base e of equals power. And the of the argument is 0.5. Log base e again, natural log. And then divide by negative 0 0.05 to both sides of the equation. All right. That's a perfectly good exact answer right there. All right, so now let's get our decimal approximation. Natural log of 0.5 divided by negative 0 0.05. And we get a 13.862, but on the other side of that 2 is a 9, so that 2 is going to bump to 3, so 13.863. That's your approximation.